Jacksepticeye, one of the YouTube OGs known for being very loud as a lot of YouTubers are nowadays, but he was the first to do it. When he was just starting out, Jack was a variety gamer and what being a variety gamer entailed was playing more than one game, but cycling through games of a certain genre. That genre that was being cycled through would change frequently and dramatically over time from more arcadish games like The Escapists, I Am Bread, and Geometry Dash to the destruction simulators like Turbo Dismount, Goat Simulator, the fan favorite Happy Wheels to narrative based games in the later years like Detroit Become Human, Life is Strange, and finishing it off with more horror related video games in the recent couple of years. Sean has had a lot of on-screen energy in his early days and it's still there, just a little more controlled. He spends a lot more time explaining himself, not that he didn't do that before. He puts a lot more emphasis on the ideas that get passed around in his community, which I think is good for squashing assumptions and keeping the peace. And even though he doesn't upload as many videos as he did before 2019, he still puts in a lot of effort by making this as entertaining and relatable as physically possible. All the OG YouTubers are close to, if not already, in their early 30s, and I think that they're kind of starting to settle into this change a bit, so it's understandable. I mean, a lot of them have been doing the whole YouTube thing for about a decade now. They've established their channels, they've made a lot of money, so if they're not completely set for life, they're pretty comfortable as of right now, and they keep making videos on a somewhat regular basis, so you know, they're not just fucking shilling just to make more money. If anything, they're doing what they've been doing for years, just with a better plan going into it, and Jack has been no exception. If you don't know who Jack said the guy is, really bro? almost 30 mil. The link to his channel is on the screen and his documentary that he released very recently, if you want more information about that, is down below.